Um, our project is Ocean Acidification by Malaya Asperia, Gia Boza Liar, Sebastian Cranejo, and Nick DeGrieff. We go to roommates at high school, and we are in Ms. Newberry's class in uh, grade 9. Um, ocean acidification is caused by the ocean absorbing the excess CO2 and other greenhouse emissions, uh, as, such as the methane. Methane leads to heat increase in the atmosphere, which is absorbed by the ocean. In this process, the ocean pH is slowly decreasing, causing it to become more acidic for the coral reefs and the fish. Ocean acidification is uh, affects uh, shell shellfish or shell shelled organisms because they need specific pH to create their protective shells, and without that, they they become weaker and less protective. Uh, more acidic environments will harm other marine species such as mollusks, corals, or some varieties of plankton. Other marine organisms could also experience changes in growth, development, abundance, and survival in response to ocean acidification. Most species seem to be more vulnerable in the early stages, such as juvenile fish. They have a harder time finding a home and food. Um, the, this photo just shows the, the process of shellfish after, from, what, from day one to 45 days how it decays that fast and other marine species that are harmed on the left side of the screen. And then the effects on human societies are the food sources. Um, commercial uh, import in marine species may be impacted leading in a loss of food supplies for human consumption. Uh, for example, oysters and, and mussels will be largely affected by ocean acidification. Coastal protection, like the coral reefs, protect the island nations from shoreline natural disasters such as cyclones and storm surges. These reefs prevent deaths and property damage erosion and have been valued at about $9 billion per year. Without that, that would cause a lot of damage on the islands and to people around, surrounding it. Tourism helps uh, protect and benefit from like help protect the ocean from ocean acidification because they bring in money to for to the sanctuaries to help protect it. So how can we look into how individual people can help ocean acidification on their own? So these are some of the ways, such as reducing your carbon footprint, like using alternative forms of energy, like solar power, putting solar panels on your house, or another good way to help is reducing trash in the ocean, because that also damages the coral reefs very much. Some ways that you can reduce trash are by recycling, by helping with ocean cleanups, or doing beach cleanups, and some other really great ways to help are by avoiding, avoid, har avoiding harmful products. So, we can... One of the ways we can reduce our carbon footprint is by using fuel-efficient cars like hybrids, or electric cars, um, avoiding non-renewable resources like fossil fuels as much as possible, and trying to use more safe fuel forms of energy like solar power, hydropower, and wind power. Um, some of the how harmful products that we need to avoid are like plastics, and you can avoid them by using reusable containers like the Tupperware things for whatever. Um, and you don't want to use plastic bags because they hurt the ocean very much as well. And you want to avoid using straws and plastic lids that can harm animals. Um, and then another important thing that you can do is reducing your trash output by recycling, by implementing a recycling plan um, and avoiding the harmful products that I mentioned earlier. So what can Rio Mesa do? So Rio Mesa, we've come up with the idea of implementing a recycling program. We did have a recycling program in recent years, but we have shut it down due to not, it not being cost efficient. So we have uh, methods and we have come up with ways for us to have a recycling program that fits within the school budget and it would help us save a lot of money and reduce our trash output So, um, we have the idea of creating a better recycling program, and we come with ways uh, to do it is by identifying what is recyclable and what is trash. We have recyclable cardboard food trays, water.
water bottles, drink cartons, napkins, plastic bowls, and utensils, and plastic wrap that we wrap in that we wrap a lot of our food in. And 70, 72% of our waste is recyclable, which is a very large number and could help us reduce our waste budget by a lot. So if we we can also bring awareness to campus and that would help a lot of students um, help us reduce our waste and if everyone has this knowledge then it would greatly impact our school. So our project, we conducted a survey and we found out that a lot of people did not know about ocean acidification and what harm it does. And so our, object, our objective is to inform people through slideshows and through telling them and posters about what the ocean acidification is doing to our earth and how can, we can prevent it. So we did a pre-survey and we have the numbers for that. Um, asking people what they knew, if they even knew what ocean acidification is. And we designed a presentation to inform them and teach them what's happening. Our next slide is our survey results. So our survey has nine multiple choice questions and one free response question. Our participants took the survey and to see to provide the basic knowledge. And then yeah. when they took the information or took the survey, they were given information and we had them retake the same survey to uh, see what they learned. Okay, so we'll go through individually what the results were for each question from the survey. So the top uh, pie chart represents the results from the pre from the first survey, and the second pie chart represents the results from the post survey. So after they read information from our slides, so as you can see, it's a very large increase in. So in the first um, survey, 38% said yes, they knew that what knew what it was and then it increased to 94% knew it was after reading it. So that's a very good. Um, for question two, it was, do you know what causes it? About 42% said yes, and 58% said no. And after reading the information from the slides, almost everybody, 98%, said yes, they know what causes it. Question three. What greenhouse gas is the main contributor to ocean acidification? So most people put carbon dioxide in the beginning, and then after the survey, even more people put carbon dioxide. For question four, the question was, do you know what impact ocean acidification has on marine life? 38% said yes, but 38% also said no. After the information, that was given to them, the post-survey resulted in 82% knowing what impact ocean acidification has on marine life. Question five, what marine life is being affected? So for the choices, we had fish, whales, marine snails, corals, all life, and none, because this isn't a real thing. Um, uh, after reading in the post-survey, more people put marine snails and corals because that's what the organisms that we focused on, but it also um, affects all life because of the food chain. Question six, what do you think can be done to help, pre help prevent ocean acidification? So most people in the beginning put either recycling or to burn less fossil fuels, and, act, and in the post-survey, pretty much everybody, 96%, put recycle and burn less fossil fuels. For question seven, it was, does plastic pollution contribute to the problem? 36% said yes. Afterwards, 46% said yes. So it was an increase from 27 for 8%. Question eight, do we need to fix it? 64% said yes in the beginning, and afterwards, 90% said yes. Question nine, do you care about this? This one is a major question because uh, determining how much people care about the actual subject determines how much um, how much effort we put into fixing it. So, um, thirty four percent said yes, and thirty six percent said no. And then 
the green and the orange should be combined. I don't know what the answer is. And afterwards, uh, they increased to 60% said yes, they do care about it. So that's better. Question 10 was our free response question. Is how can you help please with three reasons? So out of the results that we got, I sorted it into three um, general divisions. The first one was if they put I don't know or they didn't put anything. So 32% put that. And if they put two or less answers, it was incomplete. 20% put that. And then if they put three complete answers, 40% um, put three complete answers. For the post-survey, 6% said they didn't know. 14% their answers were incomplete. And 80% had three complete answers. So that's good because that showed that our, um, um, our information that was given to them offered um, different ways to improve ocean acidification, or get rid of it. Evaluation and conclusion. So according to the results, all the questions in the survey demonstrated that the public knowledge of this survey had increased, of those surveyed had increased. So seven and a half out of 10 questions met our goal that the overall understanding of ocean acidification would increase by 50%. Although only a small portion of the student body was surveyed, for future projects could include a larger audience, perhaps through media such as Spartan Spotlight or posters around the school. If a larger number of students and staff were to be surveyed, awareness of ocean acidification would increase, and changes around the school might be implemented, such as recycling program, which we discussed earlier. Communication. So without the certain species that are being harmed by ocean acidification, the food chain and ecosystem around them will begin to collapse. It is extremely important to protect and conserve the ocean and the organisms in it as they directly affect us humans and our environment, businesses, and more. So make an effort to reduce your carbon footprint, use more eco-friendly products and reusable items, and decrease your trash output around school and at home. The first step to creating a solution is knowing the problem, which is what our survey was all about. Spread awareness about ocean acidification. By presenting information, information such as this to classes, school boards, and families, a difference can be made to help decrease ocean acidification. That's the link to our survey. And then our